What's up guys, it's Super Ray Dizzle here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sure at this point, literally every single one of you has seen the tag, I tried following Blank's tutorial. And 100% I am all for that tag. Now usually this tag follows like beauty gurus, but I am an art entertainment channel. So who better to follow than the master himself, Bob Ross. So I went out to Hobby Lobby, I bought a crap ton of his merch. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I am ready and excited to try out the joy of painting. Now, real quick before we start, I feel like I have to put a little bit of disclaimers because people, including me, get very defensive over Bob Ross. So if I make a joke or I mess up on the painting, I'm not coming for Bob Ross. If anything, his presence has blessed me. And also the lighting is kind of weird, so sorry about that. But with that being said, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, this is a complicated setup we got going on here. So the tutorial that I'm going to be following today is titled Under Pastel Skies. I have my laptop as well as like all my brushes and everything off to the side. And of course, we got the canvas. I did this backwards. This little hole right here, which you like put your thumb through, it's supposed to be on this side, but I did it backwards. So off to a great start. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join me today. Me I've got a couple of my little friends here, a couple of little baby squirrels. Today oh. I have a little gray squirrel right here. This is a little gray squirrel. They're just little babies. Well, three or four weeks old. Aren't they precious though? They're precious, just like you, Bob I Ross. I just adore these little critters. I just thought I'd share them with you before we get started here. Hi, guy. Okay, now I don't have any cute squirrels to show you guys, but I do have the next best thing. Okay, guys, be as cute as the squirrels. Oh. Okay guys, please be as cute as a squirrel. You can do it. Anybody? Hello? Hello? So now with the animals out of the way, uh, let's begin the tutorial. Up here, let me show you what I've already done on the canvas. I have my standard old pre-stretched double prime canvas. Got and it. I've covered the entire canvas with a very Got thin it. coat of the liquid white. So it's wet and it's all slick and it's ready to go. And so let's just have fun today. Let's yes. start out today with a little bit of Indian yellow. Okay, let's just do Indian it. yellow. <laughs> this is a mess. You just go up here and make little crisscross strokes. Oh shoot, I'm using the wrong brush. Okay, so the first step is to just make X's. <laughs> These little crisscross strokes make it much easier to blend color together than making stripes. Yellow ochre right on top of that. Okay, I don't have yellow ochre, but I have like two colors that I can like mix together to make a yellow ochre. Because why would I, the artist, have all the colors, right? Okay, like right off the bat, like mine is way larger than his. Maybe we'll use a little alizarin crimson. Add a little Just bit of red. Oh man, my thumb is like really starting to hurt because I put the hole in the wrong place because I'm a dummy. Okay, I have way too much alizarin. I don't know why, like, mine is like super saturated compared to his. I don't know why that is. I'm literally using the exact Bob Ross paint. Maybe I'm just going too heavy? I don't know. But we're just gonna roll with it, alright? <laughs> like, he makes it look so easy. Mine's like not blended at all compared to his. And it's just like smearing horribly. I added way too much paint, I think. Oh my god. So, uh, let's see what's next, shall we? The phthalo blue is so much stronger than the crimson that we won't even have to clean the brush. We can just go right into it. And let's go up in here. Let's start on the very top, making little, little crisscross strokes again, little X's, and we'll paint the entire remainder of the sky. Mine's, dang it, I should have cleaned the brush. He said not to clean the brush, but I should have cleaned the brush because now it's straight up green. Oh shoot, is this green? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I actually think I just used green instead of blue. <laughs> okay, that's the blue. Okay. Let's bring it, bring it down to the crimson and stop. So yeah, just bring it down, bring it around town. This is like a workout, like going like this for like 30 minutes straight. It's like a workout. Maybe I just need to hit the gym more. Oh man, that is straight up gray right there. Right there. Do you see that? That is not on the Bob Ross painting. There, maybe in our world here and there. There's a little stringy cloud that lives out here. So just tap in a little cloud shape. Little clouds are free. They just float around, have a good time. Aw. So yeah, I'm just gonna make some clouds. One right here, one right here. As you know, we don't make mistakes. <laughs> we just have happy accidents. So anything that happens here, we can live with it. That's really the most fun part of the whole technique. 
chest. Shake Beat the devil excess. out of it, Bob. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it. That really is fun. When he was alive, he was a saint amongst men. Even though he's gone, we still do not deserve Bob Ross, okay? We as humanity do not deserve this man. Uh, I lost my cup. I can't beat the devil without the cup. <laughs> beat the devil with Starbucks. Okay guys, I'm kind of ghetto and I'm just using straight up paint thinner. <laughs> gotta clean my brush. And now we gotta beat the devil out of it. I can't beat the devil. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Whew, that stuff is strong. If I die on camera today, guys, uh, I'm, I'm glad to die with Bob. <laughs> so now that we beat the devil out of it, uh, let's see what's next. I have people that write and say they have no desire to ever paint, but they've just went out and bought them a brush so they can beat it because it makes them feel better. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Let's take a little black, a little bit of blue, get a little white, mix them together. I'm looking for a, maybe even a little lighter. It's our world, so we To get the baby blue, we're gonna need some titanium hot. Okay, what's next? Cut off a little roll of paint, about like that. And maybe, yep. Yeah. Just a little hill, a little mountain. He just hangs around back here and has a good time all day. This is gonna be kind of difficult to do because like he's right-handed and I'm left-handed. So the way that he's doing it would be like naturally pull this way, but I'm naturally pulling this way. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a mountain, all right? I'm gonna make Bob Ross proud. Oh God, man, this is very, 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 very difficult. Holy crap. <laughs> um, the canvas is wet. Okay, so, uh, mm. oh wow, my mountain isn't bad. I'm so proud of myself. With some black. Black? Blizzard and crimson. Black and red. And maybe right under here somewhere, maybe there's a, a little Oh, we're making a closer mountain. He's using black and red, but it looks like really blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, make it like purple. Cause that's the joy of painting. I'm like getting really relaxed right now. This is so weird. <laughs> okay, uh, now we're gonna make, uh, uh, God, I just got it all over my shirt. Damn it. <laughs> Guess the devil was still there all along. Okay, Bob Ross, Mr. Ross, I'm gonna use my right hand like him. I'm just gonna go in there. Beat the devil out of it. Oh man, mine is so purple. That's probably not good. We're just gonna have a purple mountain. <laughs> okay, so that's like the super insane purple mountain. Add a little bit of white, pretend like I know what I'm doing. All right, so mountain is blended. What's next, Mr. Ross? Let's take a little titanium white. I'm gonna put the least little touch of bright red in it. Since there's some pink in the sky, maybe there's a hint of pink in our mountain color. A little roll of paint. Uh-oh, here's gonna be the difficult part. in here, touch, no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all, just let it float. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of difficult because every time I use this little guy, I scrape off the paint. But like Mr. Ross says, no pressure. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, 40 minutes has gone by already. Um, I made a mistake because I put way too much white, but we're just gonna roll with it because we don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents. Okay, so now we're gonna add some titanium hot to make our hot mist. Yes, get it girl, get it. Beat the devil out of it. Let's, let's have some fun. I'm gonna take the fan brush, put a little, same little blue color on it, just a little. Back up in here, maybe at the base of our mountain. Let's give it a quick little upward lift. Update on my hands. <laughs> Pinkish hue, if you look real close. I have to really look for it though. I don't know it's how he makes like a straight that. line with just this, you know what I mean? Like it scrapes off. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know how he does a straight line, because like for me it like scrapes off as soon as I do it. But that's okay guys, happy little mistakes, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna build another mountain. Get, this is your bravery test. Maybe, what the heck, there's a big mountain. Maybe he's got an old jagged arm that sticks out like that. You can do the painting without having the mountain in it. It's no big deal. Aw, he's so wholesome. So just, I guess, go in there, you know what I mean? I should paint like Mount Mordor, you know, like right in the middle of the Bob Ross painting, you know, I think that'd be pretty badass. Yeah, this is not working out in my favor, <laughs> but that's okay. Happy little trees, Ray. Let's get crazy. Maybe this, yeah, why not? A little lake. Oh, he is there. going crazy. He's going ham. Let's get crazier and then go across. Just oh, wow, that's really pretty. To give it a watery sheen. Oh crap, I ruined my favorite sweatpants. Darn it. We need some highlights on this mountain. 
Oh, okay, I see now. Okay, so basically in order to get that, you have to go like so incredibly light and just like put it diagonally and just lightly just Okay, mine does not look like that. Uh... Okay, screw it, I'm not getting enough white, so I'm just gonna straight up put the white on here as so. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just like get in there. Man, he's like really, really good at what he does, man. This is not easy. Ooh, man, that mountain is rough. Let's take some of that and pull it over. Cad yellow, yellow ochre, little Indian yellow. And let's put some highlights right on our tree. Wait, there Mr. Russ. Man, he is going fast. He's like not playing around today. We need some big rocks that live back in here. Okay, now we're gonna make together. some rocks. Like, that's the magic, is he makes this look so easy. Okay, so, oh, ooh. I'm a little lost. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, so... So yeah, uh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, yeah, I am like making a mess at this point. Wait, when did he do this? I'm gonna be honest here, this is really difficult and I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I wiped off some of the paint. It's starting to look a little better. Oh yeah, that's starting to look way better. Okay, alright, Mr. Ross coming through! You can sparkle. Yes. Little parts of it. But don't sparkle at all. Yeah, to make it sparkle. Okay, might have made it sparkle a little bit too much. <laughs> at this point, just look at my palette. I'm just like hitting this like area of green and just kind of like hoping it'll do what Bob Ross is, do is doing. That's all there is to it. Yeah, so basically all we're doing left is just adding a little bit of highlights, making a little bit of depth. Yeah, there we go. We're good to go. And all you have to do then, if the paint's thin enough, it will literally just flow right over top of the other paint. So oh I'm man, that is so satisfying. So it didn't take but a second. I really hope you've enjoyed not only this painting, but seeing my little squirrels. So from my little squirrel friends and everybody here at the studio, Aww. I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friend. Yes, I love you so much, Mr. Ross. Lord help us. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he basically just like added a little bit of depth and highlights here and there, and then that's it. That's it. That's all. We're good. We're done. We're donezo. Like, I love the way there's like a random purple mountain in between the blue. Oh, I found out how to beat the devil!